if you're a person who's like a fantastic piano player, then you should be playing piano to describe what you want in your song. And you can play piano to articulate the guitar part. You can play piano to articulate the trumpet part. Hey everyone, and welcome to the official Suno YouTube channel. We have some questions from the community. My first question to you, and it's gonna be a big one, is what was the core mission behind creating Suno Studio? And what problem were you really trying to solve for creators? Great question. <laughs> the one everyone's wondering. Yeah. It lets you do a whole bunch of things. I think the main thing that Suno Studio lets you do is it lets you create and edit music on a track by track basis. So when you hear a recording, it's all coming to your ears, one continuous pressure wave. Um, and that's because all of these different microphone signals have been added up together into one song. But the way music is created is you've got a bunch of different instruments and different recordings. And these days, these can be digitally generated, they can be recorded, they can be AI generated. And Suno Studio lets you combine all of those different modalities and stack them up on a timeline so you can create a song instrument by instrument. How much different is this than the previous editor? Yeah, the big change is multi-track. The previous editor was just a single timeline view and it let you start to do some of these things like you could rearrange the song sections, you could slice and dice and delete regions of time, and then you could add and infill regions of time as well, even though to mix success, I think, um, we're working on making that a lot better. But with Suno Studio, you'll be able to create in a multi-track way. Another user, Jolsinka, asks if they can import other stems from different projects. Yeah, absolutely. So you can import stems from off the platform. You can drag those audio clips directly into Suno Studio, um, the same as you would with any other DAW. If you wanna grab stems from another Suno track you've made, all that stuff exists right here. So you can go to another workspace. Maybe I wanna grab something from here. I can click on any song. I can see that I've already actually extracted the stems from this one, but I could go ahead and grab the drums from this track and bring it directly into this project. And I mean, I'm curious to know what these drums are actually. Cool. Wow. So now we have double and it drums. actually li it lined up like almost instantly. Too. Yeah, this was a good accidental demo of how our speed adjustment works. Okay. So any song that you made on Suno and any song you upload to Suno, the time grid gets analyzed. Oh, wow. And so any stems that you pull in from any other Suno projects will automatically just fit right into your project, which okay. just makes this super fun. We've got another question here. This is from somebody named uh, Luku. Does it have or is there function for changing lyrics on the fly in studio? And can we guide direction of vocals towards certain directions? Like, I would like this section to be more breathy. Yeah, great question. The short answer is that we're getting there. Okay. Um, so right now you can edit the lyrics but it tends to work best on full song audio. So you'll see that as I highlight a region on this original clip, you can see lyrics populating into this box. Um, and by the way, I've switched over from the create tab to the edit tab now. So if I wanted to change some of these lyrics, all I have to do is come in here, just working on a, yeah, I could, when will you come through? When will you come home maybe is what I want the lyric to be. I can edit the lyric, um, and then I can click this replace button and we can see that we're right now, we're replacing this section. And because I've adjusted the lyric in the box, yeah. hopefully that new lyric gets performed here. In the future, uh, and hopefully in the near future, you should be able to do this on the level of the vocal stem. So you'll be able to go down to where that isolated vocal is, update the lyrics there. And then to answer the second part of the question, can I make it more breathy? Can I make it sound a certain way? Yeah. Um, we're also working towards that. And I'm hoping that soon there's a way where you can cover individual stems with specific prompted instructions. I've used brackets before uh, when trying to direct what the vocals sound like. That's a great tip. Um, and people, you know, definitely something to experiment with. Yeah. What I'm talking about takes it a level further where you should be able to write in a specified style box. Um, oh, I I'm looking for a breathy female vocal uh, belted with an English accent or something. Gotcha. Let's go and check in on how that lyric change happened. Yeah, so let's, let's we can we can hear the change right here. Yeah, so now it's come home instead of come through. It changed it. It changed it. All right. But we want that to be able to work on a stem by stem level right. as well as on the whole track. How does Studio bridge the gap between pure AI creation and traditional DAW? Do you see it as a replacement or a new kind kind of creative partner? Between the two, I'm going to lean creative partner. When we think about Suno Studio, I think we're thinking about how we can play to our strengths. We want to let people 
create quickly and like explore ideas and things. But if you're really gonna like dial in the compression on something, you're gonna wanna do that on one of these other platforms. So I think I see Suno Studio being used in conjunction with these other tools. And for that reason, we've created this like multi-track export button up here in the upper right. So that after I'm done experimenting in this playground of Suno Studio, um, what I'd recommend doing is changing the tempo mode to manual BPM. That way the whole project stays at a consistent tempo. And then you can do a really easy multi-track export and bring all of these stems back into the workflow where you can do those like fine-grained audio editing controls um, if those are something that you want to do. What does the future hold for Studio? Are there any dream features like real-time collaboration or VST plugin support on the long-term horizon? Dream features. Okay, I'll start with plugin support. The answer is, we don't know. We're gonna put this out. We're gonna see how people respond. We're gonna see what people like, what they dislike, and uh, that will probably determine whether we go that direction. For dream features, yeah. I think what we're really excited to create, and the reason why we've been working on Suno Studio and made a bunch of the choices that we've made, is we want this to be a place where anyone, however they know how to express a musical idea, can do that. I picture some combination of text and recording to create all the different elements in a song. So maybe I hum to create a guitar melody. Maybe I then describe the drums I want. Um, then I pull those two things in and I ask Suno to make 20 different covers. And I'm kind of like an A&R, picking which of the elements of the different covers I like before arranging them back on the timeline. And if you're a person who's like a fantastic piano player, then you should be playing piano to describe what you want in your song. And you can play piano to articulate the guitar part. You can play piano to articulate the trumpet part. So, or, or maybe you're a drummer and you want to tap on the desk to explain the rhythm that you want. All of that stuff should be possible on a track by track basis. Gotcha. So yeah, give us, give us some time <laughs> and you should be humming, tapping, playing, whatever it is directly onto the timeline. And then using kind of the, the power of Suno's core technology to translate uh, those ideas into whatever instruments and sounds you can describe. What's one piece of advice you'd give a longtime Suno user who is opening studio for the very first time? So maybe that starts with creating a track that you really like, bringing it onto the timeline. And then the next thing I would do is create a new track and start a recording. And I don't care if you don't sing at all, if you've never done any music in your life, Try to hum something, try to tap something, yeah. see what comes out yeah. and take the result, bring it back into the create form and then make a cover and just see how your addition to that song gets interpreted. I and I think you'll be really delighted at how kind of whatever that idea that you felt in the moment came out, how it gets articulated. All right, we're gonna take some uh, rapid fire questions for Henry. We've got a question here from Red Mackinton. Would it be possible to edit voices in the studio and not pray to get the right voice? Yes, and we're also trying to bring better control over voices to the rest of the platform as well. So keep an eye out. Okay, here's a fun question. Cosmic Bean asks, have you all considered an AI helper in studio for FAQs, kind of like what FL Studio does? Yes, um, I don't know what FL Studio does. I'm an Ableton guy, okay. um, but we definitely want to bring an AI helper into studio at some point. Do we have a stem limit in studio and is there any known impact to the number of stem tracks? Yeah, good question. So as far as the software is concerned, you can keep adding stems forever. At some point, uh, loading all of that audio into memory is gonna, you know, it's gonna crash your computer. So it depends on what machine you're using, but keep adding stems until the whole thing freezes is what I say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta break the project somehow. Exactly. Jesus Rice asks, my biggest question is, in studio, how will we regenerate individual stems rather than all of the stems of a given section at a time? I'm hoping that by the time most people get their hands on the studio product, you'll be able to select a given stem and give written instructions on how you want it to be changed or how you want it to be uh, recreated. Pokerphonics asks, will studio have a premium price? Uh, yeah, studio will be launched with the Premiere plan. So. Suno users currently subscribed to the Premiere plan will get access to Studio and everyone else will have the opportunity to upgrade if they want to use this new tool. So Daltron asks, can we speed up and slow down any specific sections, only speed up a chorus, leave verses slow, for example? Mm, good question. Right now we don't support global tempo automation, but you can speed up and slow down the whole track. So if I have my song here, if we want to slow this down, I can bring this down to 130 BPM. 
and ah, and it kept the pitch, and it kept the pitch exactly. Um, you can double time certain things. So if I wanted these drums to be really fast, I could double the speed. Um, but right now we only support changing the speed of things uh, of individual clips by a factor of two. Daltron asks, can I please have access? Yes, Daltron. Daltron gets access. <laughs> Daltron gets access. All right. If you have any feature requests or ideas that we should consider building into Suno Studio or any questions about what we talked about during this video, please leave those in the comments below. I know I personally will be reading them. The rest of the team will be reading them and we'll take them seriously. Also, you can let us know what you've been enjoying about Suno so far and make sure you're subscribing to the channel for more tutorials and deep dives into what's coming out on Suno as well as some amazing musical collaborations that we have coming up. But until then, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.